so i think sir uh, we can start so yes. uh, i have forwarded a message to two participants that tanaya and smritish they have not joined so we have got at present we have got only two participants uh, uh, one is anishka and uh, the other one is path shall we go ahead yes sir so uh, very good afternoon and a warm welcome to everyone who has joined in this afternoon a uh, warm wishes on the 73rd republic day of our nation <laughs> as all of you know that we have gathered here to conduct an elocution competition in english for the students of class 10th so before we begin uh, we introduce our judges shri vagi sir and uh, angita ma'am uh, children please give a big hand to both these judges and still we uh, only two participants are there but we all will join and now coming to the rules of the competition uh two minutes will be given uh, the participant should not be reading the speech from any sources use of flash card is permitted but only for reference of outline and keyword or point the participants sh should keep their videos on during the entire competition uh, parents guardians also will in uh, invalidate their watch no malpractice should take place at the time of competition and the decision of the judges will be final to commemorate the great men who laid down their lives in the struggle for india's freedom the topic chosen for class 10th is journey of making indian constitution without much loss of time let's move to the competition our first participant is anushka kar anushka are you ready yes sir Yeah, part and I'm sure you start? Uh, you have to switch on your cameras. Good afternoon to one and all. Today on this auspicious occasion of our country India 73rd Republic Day, I would like to convey my greetings to all our countrymen and pray for the prosperity and development of our country. I feel very grateful to have the opportunity to speak on this very beautiful day. As you all know, we got independence on August 15, 1947. But our country became a democratic republic when our constitution came in effect from the 26th of January 1950. Our constitution was prepared by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar along with the 299 members of the Constituent Assembly. Exactly 76 years ago, the Constituent Assembly sat together for the first time on December 9, 1946. Uh, and that started a historical journey that saw india attaining its independence the for uh, deciding the nationalism and then the national flag and finally with the adoption of the constitution the constitution was framed uh, against the situation of a uh, of an un, uh, of a horrifying violence that created that was created due to the partition between pakistan and india but it is a tribute to the courage of the framers that they not only were able to draft a constitution but they also um, learned the right lessons from the unimaginable violence that the partition had created equality liberty democracy sovereignty and the cosmopolitan identity are some of the important features the, of the constitution it is not just merely a book of rules and procedures but it is a it is a moral commitment to form a government to establish a government that can enforce and fulfill the many wishes that our nation has held in front of its people jai hind jai bharat our next participant is parth Good afternoon, my dear judges and my dear friends. I am going to talk about uh, the topic, uh, the making of the constitution. Um, uh, our constitution is a ray of hope, uh, explore harmony, offer opportunity, and peace for people's uh, participation and equality uh, by Narendra Modi. A constitution is a framework that guides the uh, procedure, uh, policy, uh, policy, and power of the government. Uh, India is being the largest democracy with the long, uh, longest constitution in this world, comprising 448 articles and 25 parts and 12 schedules. In 1934, uh, the seed of uh, Uh, the seed of forming a constituent assembly was first sown by Mr. M. N. Roy uh, of the uh, of the com community movement. Followed by this, it was the Indian National Congress whose uh, demand for forming 
uh, forming the constituent assembly to give uh, shape to the constitution of india took uh, took center um, in 1935 it was finally assembly uh, it was finally cabinet uh, assembly uh, mission that put forth um, the idea of constituent assembly a drafting committee under the um, under the uh, chairmanship of dr b r ambedkar was uh, formulated by constituent assembly to avoid any kind of uh, mismanagement uh, the the constituent assembly had uh, formulated a different committee working in uh, specific areas of uh, constitution making there were uh, 15 um, 15 uh, women members in the constituent assembly who played an important role in uh, framing indian constitution there were several criticisms like it was a uh, time consuming uh, it was a uh, hindu dominated uh, body and many more uh, and many more uh, things have to face by the constituent assembly thus a supreme law of Demo- uh, democratic india was uh, drafted by the assembly assembly from 1946 to 1950 uh, and was finally adopted on 26 november 1949 with uh, effect from 26 january 1950 it is worth mentioning that in spite of uh, high criticism uh, put forth on the functioning of constituent assembly one cannot ignore that today if india is uh, living and breathing in the air of sovereignty democracy <laughs> and uh, freedom uh, is because of the relentless efforts of notable uh, personalities uh, who had come together to give uh, india the biggest asset uh, or we can call the constitution of india thank you very much good uh, part uh, so with this uh, <laughs> we mark the end of today's competition i am sure each one of you has enjoyed listening to them may i now call upon uh, uh, angita ma'am uh, to uh, to motivate our students with our views ma'am please that uh, was uh, wonderful that out of the very few who gave the names at least not and not learned so that's one uh, one thing to be uh, appreciated but well done on the reports uh, uh, I would just like to uh, give you one suggestion. You can, you know, when you prepare your speech, after that, uh, when you have to uh, practice, just uh, do it in front of the mirror and look at your body language. Uh, look at how you are speaking, how you are articulating uh, the word. That will really help you make your speech more clear. Just practice that, and uh, well done. All the best. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. And Vargi sir, please send your views. Sir, you sir, are. Sir, you are mute. Yes. Happy Republic Day to the participants, those who turned up for the great competition. The topic was great. The day is very great. and the participants are the greatest and you have done your part very well okay now as angira madam told you the next time whenever you prepare for a speech competition you can practice it in front of a mirror and don't think that you are just a small child you should have more confidence and think that you are um, a, a gifted child with such a confidence you have to prepare well and i know you all will improve so much in the coming days your spirit of participation your enthusiasm i salute okay and actually the same topic is there in 9th standard and 10th standard also to some extent and only two students have
trade up for the competition we thank you for that at least two have come two came sridhar shanti tanaya i think they were invited by someone to host the national flag maybe in delhi they must have gone there no problem so children i wish you a happy republic day and uh, your spirit of uh, this competition and uh, spirit of participating and expressing your views and all that is uh, appreciated and we salute that that spirit thank you very much thank you sir i truly thank you sir thank you ma'am i truly appreciate and thank both our uh, judges for spending the valuable time and patiently hearing out our little enthusiastic kids and last but not least i uh, i appreciate and thank uh, our participants who enthusiastically took part in this competition thank you once again everyone happy republic day thank you with this we'll wind up the session thank you agi sir and nagita ma'am it was really a very you, marathon sir. session thank you sir, thank you